today's video, you will learn how to create a flipbook logo, reveal animation in After Effects. By the way, you can download the free After Effects project file from the link in the description below. So without further ado, let's get started. Let's create a new composition. You can see the composition settings on my screen. So first, I'm going to import my transparent logo file into After Effects and then I add it to our timeline. Now I decrease the size a little bit and then I pre-compose this layer as logo. After that, I turn on the transparency so you can see the background is transparent. Now I'm going to create a fake pencil lines over this logo. So for this, I'm using the pen tool to create the lines. So first, I select the pen tool, make sure fill is turn off, and I set the stroke to 10 for now. And then I make a line over this logo. It should not be perfect. And make sure you create two lines in the same direction, just like this. And then I create random lines over this logo to trace it. And after that, I solo this layer so you can see the lines. Now I rename this layer as Line Layer. And then I search a cap option to see the cap properties. And now I change but cap to round cap to make round ends of the lines. After that, I searched a shape so you can see all of the shape in this layer. Now I turn off all of the shapes except the shape 17 just to show you example of taper option so now i am going to search a taper in this search box and now i open the taper properties and under it you will find the start length option if i increase it so you can see how it will taper our stroke line so i set it as 70 percent and i also change the and length value to 70 percent and now it will look like a pencil stroke. So I select this taper property and then I copy it. And then I select the rest of the taper properties of each ship. And then I paste the taper properties here. Once again, I searched a ship to turn on the visibility of rest of shapes. And then I turn on the visibility so you can see the taper value applied to all of our lines and all lines look like a pencil stroke. It's time to animate these lines. So now I add trim path into this layer to animate those lines. I simply open the trim path properties and under it I add a keyframe on the end value and change it to zero percentage. Then I go to 2 second mark and change its value to 100% so it will animate like this. But right now, all of our lines reveal at the same time. So I go to Trim Multiple Shapes option and here I change simultaneously to Individually option and now each line reveal one by one. To make it slow down this animation, just drag that keyframe around 4 seconds and it will slow down. After that, I feel our lines is very thin, so I am going to increase the width of this line to 7 pixels and now it's looking good. Now I am going to add some effects to make this lines more realistic. So first, I go to Effect Preset Panel and then I search a Turbulent Displacement Effect and then I add it to this layer. Let's see the settings. Change the amount to 2 and then I change the size to 40. Then I search another effect called Roughen Edges and add it to this layer and in this effect I change the border value to 1.5 and then I change the size to around 400. And now it will look like a realistic pencil stroke. Also, I change the color of this line, something dark brown, to look more realistic. And then I turn on the logo visibility. 
Now it's time to import a texture background image into After Effects. So I go into Project Panel and import a texture image. And then I add it to this timeline just above the logo and right now it's quite big. I make it fit to com just like this. And then I change the line Blending Mode to Vivid Light. Also, I'm going to change the lines. Color something more darker to get a radish pencil stroke look after that. I select the logo and place it above the texture layer. And then around 3 seconds, I select the rectangle tool and create a mask over this logo layer. Now I open the mask path property and add a keyframe. And then I change the mask path like this. Then I go to 6 second mark. And then I change the mask path like this. So it will animate our logo. Now I open the mask feather. Then increase it to get a little bit of feather on our logo. And now it's look much better. So we just created our basic animation. After that, I select the texture layer and I'm going to pre-compose this layer. Name it as a texture. Then I open its composition and then I search curves effect and add it to this layer. Then I change the curve to add a little bit contrast to this image, like this. And then I go back to the main composition so it will look more natural. And after that, I select all the layers and pre-compose them. Name it Flip. And then I go to the first frame, then duplicate this layer. Also rename this layer as Flip Front Page. And for now, I turn off the visibility for bottom layer and lock it as well. After that, I select the layer right click and go to time. And under it, I select freeze frame option. So this way, this frame is freezes for entire timeline. And now I am going to create some shapes. So first I select rectangle tool and create a square. Let's increase the width to 10 pixels and then align it to the center. After that, I am going to create a circle. So I select Ellipse Tool and create a circle over this square. Then align it to the center of this composition. And then I rename this layer as Shape. Now go to Project. And here I go into the Logo Composition. And here I select the Logo layer and choose Auto Trace. So you can see this box now. Just see the settings and put the right values and justice click OK. So you will get a solid layer with a mask like this. All you need to do is select the layer and rename it as a mask logo. And then copy this layer from here and then delete it. Then go back to the main composition and paste this layer here. After that I scale down a bit and reposition it like this. And then I go to the effect and preset panel and search stroke effect and then add it to this layer. Then I turn on the all mask visibilities. Also, I change the color to something dark brown. And then I copy this hex code. After that, I change paint style to transparent and then increase the brush size to match the other shape stroke. And then I select the shape layer and change its color. Then again, I select the mask logo layer. And here I change the end value to zero and add a keyframe. Then I go to the two second mark and change the end value to 100%. So it will animate like this. Now I select the shape layer and add a trim path into this layer. And then I animate this shape layer by the trim path just like we did before. After that, I select all the keyframes and change it to Bezier keyframe. This way, animation looks more smoother. Then I pre-compose both layers and name it as the shape animation. And then I change its blending mode to vivid light to get this reddish stroke look. 
All right. So we just created our starting animation and now we are moving forward to see how to create a page flipping animation. So first select both layers and pre-compose them. Name it as a front page and then a two second mark. I search effect called CC page turn and add it to this layer. Let's see the settings. From the point you can control the page turn movements. So first change the fold radios around 320, after that change light direction to 110 degrees. Then go to project panel and add a texture layer into this timeline and hide it. Once again go to effect and preset panel and change the back page layer as a texture layer. Also increase the back opacity to 100 and now we are ready to animate this page. So first settle down the page at normal position, then add keyframe at the fold position and go to the four second mark and then change the point like this. Or you can use the fold position values. Now press U to see the keyframes and now you can see how it will flip like a real page. To make it more smoother, you can increase the distance between the keyframes. Or you can change keyframe to Bezier keyframe to get even smoother like this. Now it's time to add more pages into this composition to get a flipbook design. So first I go to the project panel and here I select the flip composition and add it to this timeline just below the front page and now I change the color level to recognize it better. Then I solo this layer for now, then I scrub the timeline like this and then I rename this as flip1. After that I split this layer at this point. Then I place flip2 layer below the flip1 layer, then I select the flip1 layer, right click and go to time and choose freeze frame option. Then I scrub the timeline once again and I split this layer and place flip 3 layer below the flip 2 layer and once again I select the flip 2 layer and applied freeze frame. I repeat this process couple of time until I get 5 or 6 layers and after that I delete the last layer and you can see if I play the preview so it will look like a stop motion animation. Now I select all the flip layers and drag it forward in the timeline. Now I unsolo the layers and then I scrub the timeline where front page flip and then I adjust the flip pages according to the first one and then I select the front page then go to effects control panel and copy the page turn effect. Then I select the flip one layer and paste the effect here. So the page flip effect applied to this layer. You can see the keyframes into this layer. After that I select rest of the flip layers and extend it including flip one layer and then I scrub the timeline where the second page is flipping and then I paste the page turn effect to the flip to layer. You can see the keyframes. Now repeat the process with rest of the flip layers. Now if I play the preview so you can see how pages flip one by one and our logo is revealed. By the way you can control the speed of page flipping animation by using the keyframes. Simply adjust it according to your requirement as I am doing here. Once you've done the job and satisfied with the results so you can proceed further. Now you can see at the end of the last page there is no background so I want to add a logo in the and where the page flipping animation is finished. Let me show you how to do it. So I go to the project panel and here I add a logo composition below all the free players and then I'm going to add a solid layer. This one is white solid and then place it below the logo composition layer because our logo is transparent and now you can animate the scale properties of the logo to get a little movements. 
like this. And let's see the final preview. So that's how you can animate a Flipbook logo reveal animation in After Effects.